Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be filming a what I eat in a day and it's gonna be fall inspired. So I have some really fun fall recipes to share with you, kind of for breakfast, lunch, and dinner actually. So they're gonna be really nice and like cozy, yummy, pumpkin spice, and just all the fun fall things. So I hope that you guys are going to enjoy this video. As a lot of you know, I love to start my morning with some warm water with lemon. It just makes me feel so good first thing in the morning. I love to hydrate myself and I feel like the combination with warm water and lemon just really gets my digestive system going. I also made myself a quick green juice and I had that as I was getting ready this morning. I'm still doing the greens in the blender with a little bit of coconut water. I feel like it's just a really quick and easy like version of a green juice. Of course a juicer is still amazing and I still use that sometimes but doing it in the blender just makes it a little bit quicker for those busy mornings. So I love that. So for my first meal of the day I am still loving my morning smoothies my fab four inspired smoothies but I've been making a pumpkin spice version which is so so good but it still has the basis of the fab four so we've got the protein greens fiber from ground chia seeds but ground flax seeds also work great and then for fats I'm going to use some almond butter but I've also done this with half an avocado and that tastes really good as well got about half a cup of pumpkin puree and I'm going to put in one fourth of a teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice. I've also got some vanilla coconut yogurt here, which tastes so good in the smoothie. So I'm gonna put a little bit of that in. And then of course my spinach, half of a frozen banana for some sweetness, and then a little bit of almond milk to blend everything together. this is always a little bit on the green side because of the spinach but it does taste really good and it's just a nice little way to switch it up for fall with the pumpkin and the pumpkin spice um, and also the vanilla yogurt it's so so good cheers i do love that smoothie but it does make me feel a little bit cold because it is starting to get pretty chilly outside so i like to have a little tea afterwards and just warm me up a little bit after that smoothie but it is so good and I would highly recommend trying it out. But yeah, this is some green tea. I'm actually also quite into making a pumpkin spiced latte at home. As some of you might know, I do enjoy coffee from time to time, but it's more of like a little treat because I do notice that it can irritate my digestive system, my gut, and then that can affect my skin. So I don't have it every single day, but when I'm in the mood lately, I've been making this uh, pumpkin spice latte. I can pop up the recipe here for you. It is so good and and quite simple and easy to make as well and if I have that I'll usually have like an avocado toast with that with some eggs some smoked salmon on the side so that the latte is like the pumpkin fall thing I think the pumpkin spice latte and the smoothie might be a little overkill but yeah those have been two breakfasts that I've really been enjoying but let me know down below in the comments are you more of a coffee drinker tea drinker if you do drink tea what kind of tea do you like and you guys know I am so passionate about gut health I've been through my fair share of struggles when it comes to breakouts and acne and skin and so much of that leads back to the health of our gut and not just for skin health but I feel like gut health is so deeply interwoven in the overall health of our body of our immune system energy levels how we feel emotionally they do say that the gut is like the second brain and from my research and the podcasts that I've listened to and in the interviews with the doctors and specialists they all say that it's so important to have a variety of of food in your diet so that you can populate the good bacteria in your gut and have a really diverse range of them and they say that the ones who have the most diversity in their gut those are the ones who experience better health overall of course having a varied whole
whole nutrient dense diet is really important for that but something else that i swear by is a good probiotic the thing with probiotics is that they're not all created equally and most of the time the bacteria that you do take through the capsule it doesn't actually make it all the way down to your gut because we have very strong stomach acids and bile salts so that is why i love the daily symbiotic from seed they have this really cool two-in-one via cap delivery technology so the probiotics are encapsulated in this outer shell but if you open it up you will see a second capsule and that is where the probiotics are so this protection mechanism allows all of the bacteria to actually get down to the gut and that is a huge win because otherwise you can be spending lots of time money and effort in taking a probiotic that doesn't actually work also another reason i specifically love the daily symbiotic is that it's a probiotic and a prebiotic so the probiotic is those good bacteria and then the prebiotic is the food that those good bacteria eat so you get both in one capsule and this is a super well researched and clinically studied probiotic they have lots of specialists working on this and you can see their passion for gut health if you visit their website i also love their refill system so you get one of these glass components and then each month you get a refill in this little paper bag that you just put back into your glass container so this way it minimizes the waste that's created and all of the packaging they use is either from recycled materials or ecological paper just through and through it is such a great probiotic that i would highly recommend i've been taking it for almost a year now seed have been so kind to offer all of my viewers 15 percent off you just have to use the link down below and the code annie j15 at checkout and that will get you again 15 percent off i think you guys are going to really like it as well i'm going to finish up my tea and i'll see you guys in a little bit for lunch For lunch, I'm gonna make a really quick and easy kind of salad bowl. So I just washed some spinach for the base, and then I have some shredded chicken salad and rice from yesterday. And this shredded chicken salad you guys have seen me make before, it is so good. And you can really flavor it however you like, but I will of course make sure to have this recipe down below for you guys in the description box. But this has got some red onion, cranberries, avocados, some roasted nuts, a little plain yogurt, some curry powder onion powder really really good and this keeps well in the fridge for a few days so i love having this for salads or bowls on top of toast in a wrap really really yummy and then i'm also going to put a little bit of cucumber on the side for some more greens and here i'll be making a little maple vinaigrette so we've got some maple syrup of course some dijon mustard olive oil and a little bit of apple cider vinegar i'm going to shake that up in this uh, salad dressing shaker and that's going to give a little nice fall kick to this salad bowl So for the dressing, I am combining two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, and one tablespoon of maple syrup, and then just about one teaspoon or so of Dijon mustard, and then a little bit of salt and pepper to taste. Just shake that all together and it's a delicious homemade salad dressing. It is a little bit later and I'm now going to be making some pumpkin bread. This has been my absolute favorite thing ever the last few days. It's so nice as a little afternoon snack but also of course as a dessert after dinner and it's just so nice in fall. I love it. And the ingredients are very simple. It's really easy to make so you will of course need some pumpkin puree. You'll need some coconut oil, some oats, this is brown sugar, a little baking soda, some pumpkin pie spice and two eggs and then if you want to do a frosting on top like an icing over the bread then i use some plant-based cream cheese this is an unflavored one and then i will mix it with some powdered sugar to sweeten it that will go on top of the bread and it's so good 
Okay, so I'm first taking one and a half cups of oats and I'm popping that into my food processor so that I can make a finer flour. You can also do this in your blender. So it should look something like this. Popping that into a bowl and then adding one cup of pumpkin puree. Then I take about half a cup of brown sugar, two eggs, one teaspoon of baking soda, one tablespoon of pumpkin pie spice, and then one fourth of a cup of melted coconut oil. Whilst that is baking, I'm preparing the frosting. So I'm taking about half a cup of vegan cream cheese, half a cup of powdered sugar, just mix that together. I'm just gonna set that in the fridge as the bread is baking. So as I'm already here in the kitchen, I'm gonna get started on dinner and the oven is also on, which I need. I'm gonna be making a roasted butternut squash soup, which is going to be so good. It's one of my favorite things to make this time of year. So all I'm gonna do is just roast this butternut squash. I'm gonna take the seeds out. I'm gonna leave the skin on and then just scoop out the insides once it's been roasted. I'm gonna drizzle it with some olive oil and then here I've got two stalks of celery, a carrot, and an onion. And this I'm going to lightly saute before I add in the butternut squash and then I'm going to blend everything together with an immersion blender. At this point, the pumpkin bread was also ready, so I took that out. It smells so incredible. But getting back to the dinner, as the butternut squash is baking in the oven, I'm sauteing the celery, carrots, and onion. And then once the butternut squash is ready, I just let that cool for a little bit and scoop out the inside, add that to my pot, and I added about a liter of water to this. You can also use veggie stock that is already pre-flavored, but I just had the powdered one, so I added that in as well. Just let that simmer all together for a little bit, and then I'm going in with my immersion blender and just blending everything into this really nice creamy soup consistency. So yummy, and this way is so easy. You can also transfer it to your blender or to a food processor but I find the immersion blender is just really quick and easy and it works really well and this soup is so good again as I mentioned it's one of my favorite things to make this time of year I can also make it with sweet potato or pumpkin So after having that, it was time for the delicious pumpkin bread. So I'm just taking the frosting out of the fridge and popping that onto the top, sprinkling it with a little bit of cinnamon. This was so good, you guys. Highly, highly recommend it. A nice healthier version of a pumpkin bread that is so good, so nice as a snack, of course, as a dessert. So good, you guys, if I may say so myself. <laughs> so we are now going to chill out on the couch. I also made myself some tea that I'm gonna sip on. I really love a mint tea. It is one of my favorite um, decaffeinated teas that I like to have in the evenings. Anyway, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. As always, make sure to check the description box for recipes, links, different kitchen utensils that I use. I will make sure to have everything linked for you guys down below. I hope that you're all having a really beautiful day and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.